new research shows that America is in a sex drought. The latest data from the General Social Survey shows that the number of U.S. adults not having sex hit an all-time high in 2018. The organization monitors societal change and collects data on the U.S. population. Researchers found that 23% of adults who were celibate in 2018 were men in their 20s. Experts say some of the causes are an aging population and a higher number of people without partners. The survey shows that the 60 and older demographic was only 18% of the population in 1996, and last year it was 26%. The Washington Post reports that a psychology professor from San Diego State University noted that nowadays there are more people in their 20s who, quote, don't have a live-in partner and that may be the cause for less sex. The study shows that the share of men younger than 30 reporting no sex has nearly tripled since 2008. The GSS research also found that the record high celibacy is tied to record low life satisfaction. Experts gather data by asking respondents how often they have sex on a scale from never to more than four times a week. The study began in 1989. Gentlemen, good day. Today, I would like to read you an article. It comes from the Salt Lake Tribune. And the article reads, The share of Americans not having sex has reached a record high. The share of U.S. adults reporting no sex in the past year has reached an all-time high in 2018, underscoring a three-decade trend line marked by an aging population and higher numbers of unattached people. But among the 23% of adults or nearly one in four who spent the year in celibate state, a much larger than expected number of them were in their 20-somethings. Men, according to the latest data from the General Social Survey. Experts who study American bedroom habits say there are a number of factors driving the great American sex drought. Age is one of them. 60 and older demographic climbed from 18% of the population in 1996 to 26% in 2018, according to the survey. The share reporting no sex has consistently hovered around 50%. And because that age group is growing relative to everyone else, it has the net effect of reducing the overall population's likelihood of having sex. But changes at the other end of the spectrum may be playing an even bigger role. The portions of Americans 18 to 29 reporting no sex in the past year more than doubled between 2008 and 2018 to 23 percent for the past three decades 20 something year old men and women have reported the similar rates of sexlessness but that changed in recent years. Since 2008, the share of men younger than 30 reporting no sex has nearly tripled to 28%. That's a much steeper increase than the 8 percentage point increase reported amongst their female peers. The article comes to close by stating, one final factor that may be affecting Americans' sexual habits at all ages is technology. There are a lot more things to do at 10 o'clock at night now than there were 20 years ago. You know, things like social media, video streaming, video game consoles, iPhones, and clubs. The funny thing that I noticed about this article is they didn't mention anything anything about the Itmore community or the MGTOW community 
which we all know is single-handedly responsible for uplifting the awareness in young men. There was one more article that I stumbled upon. However, I'm not going to go to it in great detail. It does go hand in hand on what we've just been talking about. The article reads, America just had its lowest number of birth rates in 32 years. This article was published May 15th, 2019. America's fertility rate and the number of births nationwide are continuing to decline. The number of births for the United States last year dropped to its lowest in about three decades according to the provisional data in a new report from the National Center for Health Statistics at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The report showed that birth rates declined for nearly all age groups of women younger than 35, but rose for women in their late 30s and early 40s. From 2017 to 2018, the birth rate dropped 7% amongst teenagers aged 15 to 19. 4% amongst women 20 to 24, 3% amongst women 25 to 29, and 1% amongst women 30 to 34, according to the report. The birth rate rose 1% amongst women aged 35 to 39, and 2% amongst women 44 to or excuse me 40 to 44 the rate for women 45 to 49 which also includes births to women 50 and older did not change from 2017 to 2018 overall the provisional number of births in 2018 for the United States was about 3 point seven nine million down from two percent from the total in 2017 according to the report the findings mark the fourth year that the number of births has declined after an increase in 2014 